Today we're delving into a blockchain project that's been making waves, the open network. You might already be familiar with Telegram Messenger, but did you know that they have their very own layer one blockchain? Let's kick things off with a bit of history. It all began when the Telegram Messenger team set out to find blockchain solutions that they could easily integrate into the messaging platform and support their user base. When they couldn't find one that fit the bill, they decided to create their own. The team, led by brothers Nikolai and Pavel Durov, first unveiled the Telegram Open Network ton and its cryptocurrency Gram back in 2018. Its launch gained a lot of attention and raised a very impressive $1.7 in a total open sale. This made it one of the most successful cryptocurrency ICOs in history. So with all this support and funding, the Telegram team got to work on building this new layer one blockchain. But just as Tun was on the brink of completion, the SEC stepped in with legal action, accusing Telegram of an unregistered securities offering. A legal battle ensued, but in 2020, Pavel announced Telegram's exit from the project. After a hefty 18.5 million settlement with the SEC, the team issued refunds to investors and stopped development of Tun and support of its testnet, often referred to as Testnet2. At that time, Tons code was open source and widely accessible on GitHub, which meant that anyone could contribute. Deciding that the project just had too much potential to waste, a small team of developers led by Anatoly Makozov, a software developer, and Kirill Emelianenko, a programmer with a PhD in physics and mathematics, stepped in and continued Tons development. Both developers are still part of the Ton Foundation team and handle core development. While the current network is completely independent from Telegram. In 2021, Pavel expressed his happiness that the project would continue and wished the new team success. Fast forward to 2021 and the Telegram open network got a small makeover. The original Testnet 2 by the Telegram team became Mainnet. The new Ton team was rebranded to Ton Foundation and the whole project was renamed to the open network, an effort to keep its name as Ton. Let's dive into how this blockchain works. Ton uses uses a combination of a proof of stake consensus mechanism, sharding, and a virtual machine to ensure that it is fast, flexible, and cost effective. Because of this, Ton claims it can support millions of users and process millions of transactions per second. At the time of this video, the highest record is from 2021 when it processed 55,000 transactions per second. Sharding, a newer approach to scalability, splits the network into interconnected pieces that still run independently, allowing multiple transactions to run in parallel. Ton also implements dynamic sharding, which means the network is able to split or merge these pieces depending on the network's load. And let's not forget Ton's virtual machine, which is bringing some new concepts to the table. Take for example that Ton's fee model charges the contract developer instead of users to fund operations. Each smart contract holds a ton token balance, which it uses to pay for its own resource costs. Another example is the asynchronous architecture that the ton network uses to process multiple transactions independently from each other. So what is ton doing differently that sets it apart from the other L1 blockchain solutions? Well, at the top of the list is the network's ability to connect with Telegram's large user base. In 2022, the application had over 700 million monthly active users and projects to have over 1 billion by the end of 2023. Since day one, part of the white paper was seamlessly bridging blockchain technologies and distributed services to the everyday user. One key step in this is the integration of the self-custodial ton-based crypto wallet to the platform. Their users can now send, receive, buy, and swap ton coin directly within Telegram. Following the announcement at the Token 2049 event in Singapore this year, the price of ton increased by nearly 7% and continued to climb up to 43% over the next few days. However, at the time of shooting, it has returned 
a fair bit of its gains. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ton's ecosystem also boasts a lineup of game changers, including Ton Storage for decentralized file storage, Ton Proxy to safeguard your IP, and Ton DNS to rename your Ton wallet address to human readable names. But it doesn't end there. You can also use Ton Payments for seamless transactions and Ton Bridge to connect with different blockchain networks. And just like that, crypto would become that much more accessible to the masses through a simple messaging platform that is Telegram. Telegram's ambitious plans seem to mimic WeChat's, and many have taken notice. After all, WeChat, with well over 1 billion monthly active users, earned the title of the first super app when it seamlessly integrated instant messaging with a digital wallet and then further expanded their list of available services to include games, live streams, e-commerce, and more. If that's the case, well then Ton and Telegram have quite the journey ahead of them. Now, let's talk about TonCoin, or Ton, which is the native and utility token of Ton. It's used for transaction fees, staking, and gas payments. Ton is also a DAO, meaning users who hold Ton can vote on any proposals. TonCoin has a maximum supply of 5 billion Ton, and at the time of this video, 3.4 billion Ton are in circulation. Ton is also used to pay for Ton DNS and Ton storage, but Ton Proxy is currently not yet available. Decentralized applications on the network are also integrating TUN as their base currency. The TUN Foundation has also been actively working on growing the blockchain. According to TUN's own Q2 2023 developer report, the network has grown in developer activity with a 6.56% increase from Q1 this year. On top of that, a variety of programs and challenges have been running to engage with the community. The network's roadmap also has a few items outlined for the rest of 2023, such as the introduction of other cryptocurrencies within the TUN ecosystem and building bridges with Ethereum, Binance Coin and Bitcoin with advanced scalability solutions, rapid transaction processing and enhanced cross-chain communication. The open network is uniquely positioned to many opportunities, but just like Telegram bots, such convenience usually comes with a trade-off. The Ton Space wallet, for instance, also abstracts away the need for users to store their private keys during wallet creation, which raises some eyebrows on the term self-custodial wallet. The ease of access to crypto also opens the floodgate to the common masses. And yes, this could mean a more seamless experience when it comes to sending, receiving, and managing crypto assets, but that also means increased vulnerability to potential scams, especially for the everyday user with minimal crypto knowledge. While at the end of the day, it's important for users to understand how these applications work and the security custodial implications behind them. So there you have it, our whirlwind tour of the open network. Are you excited to see what lies ahead for this layer one and potential super app? Well, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in what else is happening with Telegram, well then check out our previous video right here.